Hello, for this video I'm going to show you how to save uh, the UI state. In this case I'm going to save the score, the health and the stamina. So if I I will delete my save file now and if I go to the third person character um, I have my variables here, the health, stamina and the score. Uh, if I go to my UI widget you can see that I am binding these values from the character. So the variables that I should save are these three variables. And in this case you can see that my health is at 50. So if I click play, my health is at 50 now. Um, so I'm going to check the save game flag and see what happens. Compile, play and if you see I save my variable and after being hit when I load my file the health doesn't update correctly I think this is happening because of limitation of the engine so I'm going to show you what happens when I save my no I'm going to delete this file I'm going to get hit first so my update my health updates and now I'm going to save now when I load um, the health updates correctly I'm going to show you again so I get hit I save I get hit again and I load and the health is updating correctly I'm going to place this pickup play and I'm going to save and load and uh, you see that uh, the health is not being updated correctly I'm going to test it again so I save I recover my health and I load and the health is not uh, being updated correctly and as I tell you as I told you before I think this is an engine limitation that only happens when the value is not being updated uh, before saving so a workaround for this is to create a second variable I'm going to create a second variable saved health and this saved health will have this save game flag and the health will not have the save game flag so the, the workaround to save the value that is not being updated correctly is to well, to set to set the to create a new variable from the same type. So I'm going to get the health and set the saved health to the health value when the save starts. I'm going to make the inverse. So and if I click play now, I delete my save file. So I'm going to save get hit and load and you see that the health is being updated correctly I'm going to test with the pickup and you see that the health is being updated correctly in this case so apparently when I try to save a variable that doesn't that doesn't have been updated in this case the health it's at 50 at the beginning and if I try to save this health when it's at 50 it apparently is not being saved so the solution is to create a second variable in this case that when I create a second variable this second variable even if I have even if this second variable is 50 the same value as the health it works when I do this workaround so instead of using this approach I'm going to use these macros to save this variable because in this case I'm going to save the health and the stamina and the score using this um, this workaround I'm going to create three new variables but as I don't want to create variables for for saving I don't want to fill my actor with with new variables that I'm not going to use I'm going to use my my new uh, sequence my new uh, functionality 
I'm going to call save set save numbers and set save floats yes floats and um, for the numbers I'm going to make an array and save the score I'm, what I'm doing here is the same thing as creating new variables but instead of creating new variables in the actor I'm creating new new variables in the component so the functionality is a lot more clean I think so in this case I'm saving I'm making the same thing with the floats and I'm going to create a function for loading the variables here I'm going to create a sequence and in the sequence here I'm going to get the saved numbers and use my new sequence from input array macros so as I saved in the index 0 I'm going to write 0 here to get the index 0 of the array so on, on 0 I'm going to set the new value the saved value I'm going to make the same thing with the floats so get save it float and the sequence from the input array so now I save it two values inside this array the health is in the index 0 so for 0 I'm going to set the new health and for 1 the stamina so now with this workaround, if I am saving the health, the stamina, and the score, even if these values doesn't are not updated. So, for finishing, I'm going to execute the output, and uh, let's see how it works. I'm going to click play. I'm going to delete the save file. Click play. Uh, you see it's working. The stamina, it's working too. I'm going to load and it's working and for the score well right now it's not working because I don't have functionality for adding the score so I'm going to create the functionality here I'm going to add a custom event called add score and add a new input it will be an integer so I'm going to uh, add this value to the current score so my score is, is updated now let's comment it and of course I now need uh, to to trigger this event so I'm going to the AI, AI character and when this AI dies I want to add a score for my character so after this AI is being uh, killed I could use this instigated by to to use my to get access to my character but I'm going to get access using get player pawn cast it to my third person character uh, call the event add score in this case I'm going to add in a score of, 12, of 10 so if I click play now I'm going to delete my save file if I click play I save I kill and my score is being updated but when I load it returns to the original value so it's working and by the way in the previous tutorials we make a functionality for this door but right now it's not working mm, uh, correctly I need to press uh, E twice to open the door after loading and uh, this is happening because uh, this uh, save is all closed is not being saved correctly so I'm going to make the workaround for this and instead of using the component, as this is only one, one variable, I'm going to create a new variable here. So I'm going to make the, the workaround. So now these variables should be, should be saved and loaded. I'm going to delete the save file. 
open the door, save, close the door, load, and try to close. And I only need to press once. So it's working. I'm going to change the default value here because I'm having issues uh, the first time I open the door. So I'm going to test it and it's working correctly now. So for now I'm going to wrap up this video and let's continue in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.